What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Pero Show. Today is Sick Bay Friday, February 9th, 2024. Ex New York Mets general manager Billy Epler, ex Mets general manager Billy Epler, is banned from baseball for the 2024 season for fabricating injuries and violating injured list rules. And in college football, Boston College is going to hire Bill O'Brien as their new head coach. I think that's very cool. And in men's college basketball, the Clemson Tigers beat number three, the UNC Tar Heels, for their second win ever in Chapel, in Chapel Hill. Excuse me, for their second win ever in Chapel Hill. Tigers, baby! Woo! And also, um, number eight, the Arizona Wildcats beat. The Utah Utes, 105 to 99 in three overtimes. Um, that's somewhat concerning that it took them three overtimes to beat an unranked team, but uh, it's a good thing they won. It looks like this the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to hold on to. They're going to retain Mike Sullivan. And then the NBA news, the Dallas Mavericks acquired P.J. Washington from the Charlotte Hornets. I think that's a bad plan on Dallas's part. It's really not that great. And in also in college basketball, the UNC Tar Heels toppled Duke Blue Devils in men's college hoops, I think that's really bad. That's unfortunate, that's really sad. I'm not very happy with that at all. Um, and in women's college basketball, Virginia Tech beat UNC Tar Heels in women's college basketball. The Lady Hokies um, and the Lady Tar Heels went to overtime. Virginia Tech won. The Lady Hokies pulled off a win, 70 to 61. That's really good. I think that's really great. Awesome. And in NFL, in the NFL, the uh, the running back Rex Burkhead is set to retire from the NFL. He played for the New England Patriots, the Cincinnati Bengals, and the. Houston Texans and in Major League Baseball news the LA Dodgers are trading relief pitcher Caleb Ferguson to the New York Yankees and in women's college basketball South Carolina, the Gamecocks, the ladies in South Carolina, led by Dawn Staley, they beat Ole Miss with a score by a score by a score of 85 to 56. And in men's college basketball, the uh, Virginia Cavaliers took on the Miami Hurricanes down in Florida. Um, the Virginia Cavaliers won 60 to 38. I'm pretty disappointed in the Hurricanes for not beating the Cavaliers. It's pretty sad. It's pretty unfortunate. And that is going to be it for today, y'all. Um, please like this video. Please share this video. Please leave a comment and subscribe for more. Tap that bell in your YouTube app so you never miss an upload. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a very wonderful day. I'll see you next week.